where we currently stand for $200 monthly increase and $2,000 fourth stimulus check. What's the current progress where we currently stand? Are we going to receive increase into our monthly payments or are we going to receive one-time stimulus payment that is highly anticipated $2,000 fourth stimulus check? Today in this video, I have got the latest news, latest update regarding both of those increase and one-time payment. So guys, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel because this video is gonna be really important for those who are receiving social security low income fixed income benefits people receiving social security ssi ssti va retirement so without a further ado hit that like and let's jump right into all the details all right guys so today i have got some exciting news to share with you regarding your financial benefit for low income individuals today we'll be discussing 200 dollar monthly increase and 2000 dollar fourth stimulus check it would not only be beneficial for the individual beneficiaries but in turn it will also also stimulate the growth of the economy and most of the people will be likely going to spend that extra money extra cash onto their necessities the essential items which will contribute to the overall economic growth and the economic activity so first of all let's talk about $200 monthly increase for fixed income beneficiaries now you may have heard this multiple times this proposal is surfacing onto the Congress several times over the past few years it was recently introduced in early 2020 by a small group of democratic senators but unfortunately that time it didn't came to the protection about a half a year ago bernie sanders elizabeth warren and few other democratic senators reintroduced the social security expansion act proposal many of my previous video i have discussed this legislation which holds 200 dollar monthly increase for the beneficiaries and not just 200 dollar increase in addition to the monthly benefit increase social security expansion act also includes other changes to the social security system where social security reform is absolutely necessary in the year 2023 it focuses on increasing the solvency adjusting the cost of living adjustment mechanism the calculation how cola is calculated which is a big problem in this year also it manages to raise taxes on higher income individuals so this phase of legislation covers all in all all the important key points that a comprehensive social security reform is required that's why social security expansion act is gathering tons and tons of attraction now let's shift our focus and our attention on to highly anticipated two thousand dollar fourth stimulus check however guys i wanted to make this absolutely clear as of right now despite what you may have heard from other people i'm committed to providing you all the honest accurate reliable information so let me tell you this stimulus checks these one-time stimulus checks are designed to stimulate right here into the economy rapid economic stimulation is the primary source purpose of one-time stimulus check they involve the government approving billions and even trillions and trillions of dollars in terms of stimulus funding it could be one-time distribution among the needed group of people and this influx of the money aims to stimulate our bank account and in turn manages to increase the spending right here into the economy and once the chain effect starts economy the entire economy is stimulated and that's how a stimulus check works now here is the important question many Many of you right here into the community have been asking can you receive both $200 monthly increase and the future $2,000 stimulus check and here is where it gets interesting $200 monthly increase is a part of social security expansion act while stimulus check is a separate initiative funded by government and they both of these serve a very different purpose even though they are both contributing to stimulating the economy but still you see the point $200 on an ongoing monthly basis versus $2,000 fourth stimulus check is a very different kind of a help. You don't have to choose between uh, which one you should get. It's not like a picking your groceries. It's not like a choosing which one do you need and other you don't get. If both legislation were to be passed, then you can able to receive both benefits together. There is no law, no reform that's basically saying that you can't be able to receive monthly increase in your social security payment while getting a stimulus check like $2,000 one-time stimulus payment. In order to receive the $200 monthly increase, it would not only be beneficial for the individual beneficiaries, but in turn, it will also stimulate the growth of the economy and most of the people will be likely going to spend that extra money, extra cash onto their necessities, the essential items, which will contribute to the overall economic growth and the economic activity. On to the other hand, stimulus check, one-time stimulus check injects a large sum of money quickly into the economy, aiming to start quick start economic 
economic growth very very rapidly now considering the growth whether it's 200 dollar monthly increase or 2000 dollar stimulus check both of these proposals involve government approval and billions and even trillions and trillions of dollars in stimulus funding to be distributed amongst people now the sole purpose is to provide the money to the people boosting our bank account and in turn help stimulate the economic growth spending is the most likely important criteria therefore most needed group of people would be benefited first and those including social security ssi ssdi low income fixed income beneficiaries people on disabilities older adults those are the low income fixed income beneficiaries which will receive the much needed help on a priority basis now whether it's 200 dollar monthly increase it's clearly a part of social security expansion act while a stimulus check is a separate initiative which helps stimulate the economy although these are two distinct proposals if both piece of legislation were be passed then you could be able to receive both of the benefits together it doesn't matter you do not need to choose one or the another you could potentially get both of the checks simultaneously it's important to note that the rapid infusion of the money through stimulus check can sometimes lead to challenges for instance we have witnessed a supply chain issue and the inflation into the past where significant amount of money has entered into the market and people's pocket basically causing a surge into the demand for the goods services and limited goods and services were to be delivered and this is kind of a catastrophe for our economy and in general 200 dollars on a yearly basis would calculate to about 2400 dollars in a yearly basis let's say you receive the 200 dollar increase on to two year basis well that equates to 4800 dollars now you see the point guys a 2000 dollar one time help versus a 4800 dollar in two year basis or two thousand dollars in a single year which one is more beneficial do let me know in the comments down below however this is the income side of the equation speaking of the taxes this is where it gets really interesting now you see two thousand dollars stimulus check it could not be considered as a taxable income because here's the thing it's a stimulus payment and therefore generally it is not considered taxable while speaking of the two hundred dollar monthly increases well two hundred dollar monthly increases are monthly increase to your existing benefits and those are basically your income and considered as taxable income so you see the point and if you fall within a taxable income threshold or let's say if you receive 200 dollar increase and then you fall into the taxable income threshold then it becomes much more trickier because you see those 200 dollar increase 200 dollars will not be your cut you'd be paying additional taxes so that's where 200 dollars versus 2000 dollars stimulus check you need to consider which one is better for you but here is the thing it's not one way or another if both were to be approved you could be received you could be able to receive both of the checks simultaneously however there is both side of the equation there is an income and taxation to your benefits as well so do let me know what do you think about this make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from how to guys see you in the next video